Hi, I'm Matthew Coast, head dating coach and founder at CommitmentConnection.com. And today we're going to talk about how to save a relationship. So if you're having a problem in your relationship and you want to know how to save it, that's what this is about today. So um, there's really, uh, I'm, I'm blessed to have been a part of saving many people's relationships. I've saved relate I've helped save relationships. I've helped save marriages before. Um, and, and when I say I've helped save them, what I'm really saying is that I gave some guidance to some people that actually saved them. Um, because saving your relationship isn't up to me, it's up to you. And knowing that is very, very important. So there's really four steps uh, that I've found were patterns in people that ended up saving their relationships. And the first one is this. Stop blaming yourself and stop blaming your partner. When you place blame on somebody, whether it's yourself or your partner, it can be really, really damaging to your relationship. And um, I mean, it, it can just be hor horribly damaging, and, and there's a pattern that you can end up getting into where you're just blaming each other, and it's just atrocious. And so, if you want to stop that, just stop, just just stop it altogether. Just stop blaming. Uh, refuse to blame him. Refuse to get caught up in that pattern. Um, and step two is taking responsibility. So just taking responsibility for uh, anything can be really, really powerful. You know, it kind of like almost just breaks that pattern that you had before. And it, and it like, it can just jog somebody into um, just being like, whoa, you know, what are, what are, oh man, I don't want to do this anymore, right? I don't want to uh, continue to fight or, or uh, whatever. Uh, the third step is to get resources from experts. Um, you know, if, if others can be helped, then you can be helped as well, right? Um, I, it's rare. So every once in a while, there's there's relationships that shouldn't continue, right? And that's a lot of times if that's like if you're an abusive in an abusive emotionally or physically abusive relationship, or if you're with a narcissist. Um, you know, I, I sometimes I get women who are in narcissistic relation relationships with narcissists and it's just like get out get out of that relationship but if that's not your situation then uh, you know get resources from experts and um, find out uh, what you need to do uh, find out ways to break those patterns find out ways to uh, come together closer with your partner um, that can be really really powerful and then fourth is just taking action. So taking those resources that you get and um, just doing something. You know, even if you mess up, that's better than doing nothing at all and just allowing your relationship to fall apart. So, um, yeah, that's it for today. If you want more information on how to attract Mr. Right into a committed, lasting relationship, make sure you go to my website at commitmentconnection.com and take the quiz. I'm Matthew Coast, and I'll speak with you again soon.